Hi. It is uh, Wednesday, December 21st, 2022. And uh, I'm back here in the basement of the Warren United Methodist Church in Warren, New Hampshire. And thanks very much to the WUMC for allowing me to do this. Actually, I don't know if they know, but... <laughs> But I, I have asked the appropriate committees and the pastor if I can do stuff down here. They probably think I mean get water for my chickens, which I also do. But uh, I'm I'm set up over here near uh, this 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 corner of the room here is probably the most festive place there is. Um, you can't probably see it, but there's a crash over here. And of course, the Christmas tree behind me. I'm not going to be doing Christmas music today because this will be up long after Christmas, I imagine. And there is a big poster, which you can only see part of, that says, Go into all the world, which is a good idea, which is why I'm doing this on Facebook. But uh, I'm doing... I'm getting some of my original songs out of the way so that so that I've actually played them for somebody. Thank you very much for watching and listening. This, like I said, this is not a, a performance of Christmas music because I'm doing original material. And I don't think I've actually written any Christmas songs. You watch, you watch middle of January, I'll find three or four that I'd forgotten about. But this edition of Rick's original music is the Lane Cobb edition. That is because Lane made a request. And when people actually request my original material, well, I can't hardly help but do it, can I? So here we go. And Lane Cobb, my very good buddy, who is a marvelous musician, hangs out at a lot of the open mics in the Upper Valley. If you go to any open mics in the Upper Valley, you will probably get to meet him, and you'll probably find out that he's the awesome person that I say he is, which of course he is. He's also a fine musician and a real music lover. And more times than not, whenever I'm out playing, um, he's liable to turn up. He's just a really good guy, in spite of once having been threatened with a rolling pin by my daughter. But that's because she didn't know who he was and it was the middle of the night and he was driving me home. And so it, it, it's, all, it's all cool, it's all good. Anyway. This first song is one of the very, very few political songs I've ever written. Those of you who know me might be surprised to learn that, but I, I don't write political songs on the whole. And yet, here's this one. And I generally say this for election cycles, and the 2022 midterms are all over with. But um, since, since Lane requested it, I'm going to do it. I'm sitting at home eating dinner when I hear the telephone ring. It seems there's elections upcoming and they'd like to know one or two things. A half hour later, I'm tired they've still got a question or two. Afterwards, I called up my neighbors, and here's what I told them to do. Hey, let's all lie to the pollsters. Let's have some fun with the press. Caleb, Harris, Sockby, let's get them all in a mess. Tell them anything we can think of, especially if it's not true. Let's all lie to the pollsters. I will, if you will too. Man, I sure get sick of the phone calls every hour of the day. Although it does kind of touch me that they care about what I say. But when it comes out in the paper, I wonder who else they phone. It seems like they're calling each other and they're doing it while they're stoned. So let's all lie to the pollsters. Let's make them all kinds of grief. 
Let's make them publish figures that are totally beyond belief. Let's make them look like idiots more than they already do. Let's all lie to the pollsters, because Lord knows they lie to you. tongue-in-cheek. Not everything I write is, is that way. I write some pretty serious and even some pretty boring music. And if you uh, watch this channel long enough, you'll probably get to hear it. But not today. Um, I'm, I'm focusing on songs that have been requested by my very good friend Lane Cobb. And he may not even remember that he requested this one time. Hey, do that song. And I'll, quick disclaimer before I do that. I know, I know quite a few people. And some of them happen to be known as Jack. And um, this is not about any particular person named Jack. It's not even necessarily about anybody, you know, at all named Jack, might even be just a little autobiographical, but uh, you'll, you'll understand uh, the point as we go here. I've got a buddy, his name is Jack, he says that Jesus is coming back. And when he does, you better be packed. Jack used to party hardy. Now he'll pray all day. He used to treat life like a racetrack, but now he's traveling the narrow way. Some folks ask me, why does he act like that? Well, if you don't know Jesus, you don't know Jack. Jack used to live just to offend. There was no rule he would not bend. And now those days have come to an end. He wasn't beaten into submission. He just traded wrong for right. It's probably just a coincidence. He's now honest and polite. Some folks ask me, why does he act like that? Well, if you don't know Jesus, you don't know Jack. Thing. 
maybe you're wondering, how come I act like that? Well, if you don't know Jesus, if you don't know Jesus, if you don't know Jesus, you don't know Jack. Well, that's about it for today. Have yourself a, a merry little Christmas and a happy new year. And who knows? Uh, I'm lucky I may see you again soon. I may actually see you soon, not just you seeing me. Thanks again to Warren United Methodist Church. And uh, try and help Jesus have a happy birthday, okay? Thanks a lot. We'll see you.